It is the Padres home opener. The game starts in what, about 30 minutes? Coming up fast. It is also Throwback Thursday, and do we have a great one for you right now. It's our very own Marcella Lee checking out the ballpark food all the way back when she was brand new here in 2004. There's the sizzling sound of hot dogs and nachos loaded with cheese. Mmm. It shouldn't let me behind the counter. <laughs> and in addition to these ballpark favorites are specialty Gordon Biersch garlic fries. So these are garlic fries? These are garlic fries. Right. They're coated with garlic. Oh, I could taste the bite. You're probably not going to want to sit too close to your friends or anything after eating some of these, huh? Hey, it's not that bad, Warren. <laughs> Even the burgers are posh, served on a potato bun. And then there's the Randy Jones barbecue sandwich, the first one eaten by the man himself. At the Pacific Walk, you'll find Asian cuisine. Try your hand at some sushi or here, a spring roll, pot stickers, dim sum. Let me try one of these. Mm, barbecue pork. So how much is this upscale for a ballpark menu going to cost you? $5.50 to $6.50 for a sandwich, salad, or burger, five to six for a beer, and non-alcoholic drinks, two fifty to five bucks. And this is what your five dollars will get you. We have our 44 ounce Grand Slam, which is a commemorative cup. It also has the Padres schedule here for all their home games. There's food for just about everyone. That's an 18 inch pizza, and we cut it up into eight slices. So it's a pretty big slice. I was, well, number one, you haven't aged at all. And number <laughs> two, like a baby. the price difference is you said a beer was like five or six bucks. Where's yeah, it now? Yeah, I just checked with Marcus. $15 now for a beer. Ooh, and about, all, how does Marcus know how much a beer costs? What's I, he well, doing you told him there? to go We're find out, oh, if Jake, I remember I correctly. Jake. So Jake's okay. with Marcus research. at research. the bar. Research. Research. Yes, market for research Marcella. there. See, it all comes together. And about $5 for a soda. And, and you know, time machine. We're, we're almost two decades later. It was my first week on the job. Petco Park was opening, so I went to check out the brand new food, which is really interesting because earlier this week, Steve Price actually brought the food to me right, here right. in the studio. And again, there was sushi. So that's been a San Diego staple. I did notice a little shrinkflation happening though but, but I think These, you, for some reason oh. you didn't eat the you didn't eat the warm sushi that had you, you been sitting out for right. us. Yes, but, the, but look how small the <laughs> the portions are these days they're, compared they're, to the to the large that's more posh but also more hit right acai story. bowls are pretty posh oh, yeah so 13 dollars uh, you'll that'll spend a little inflation little shrinkflation but you know still the same old fun at the ballpark yeah. Yeah, and you know what I will say this traveling to other stadiums Petco has fantastic food options yeah, like, like no other it's a great we've all been there it's a great experience for so many reasons the food's part of it. Yeah, yeah, you don't even have to be a fan of either team playing. You just <laughs> yeah. go walk around the park. The right. food. But what's interesting, I noticed that was 2004. Yes. And that was the year that Peckle Park it opened. It was. Right? I remember it was. It was my first week on the job. One of the first stories I did, and I thought. I came from Detroit and I thought, this is the type of story I get to do. This yeah. is amazing. I get to go cover a new ballpark and try out all this delicious food. The cat fashion show. That's what made you stay so, that, so that, long. That's, that, that's yes, and Good. 18 years later. Good fun with the flashback. We're Good still eating. Like my little baby hair. Coming up.